Greetings traders out there in Traderland. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. It's a weekend edition. This is good through Sunday, April 28th, 2019. And the markets continue higher, 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 higher. Looking good. It's a Saturday morning. Saturday morning I have my coffee and you probably hear it in my voice. Hair is maybe a little wet still, <laughs> but here's the deal. Markets up bullish on Friday. NASDAQ, little laggy, not up by much. However, Russell's 2000 up nearly a full percent, and financials up the same. That is really strong for the underlying market. US dollar down, crude oil down more than 3%, big drop there. Silver higher, gold higher. The VIX dropping again, down 4%. We're at 12.7. Bitcoin pulling back. It was around 5,700. Now it's at 51, almost 5,200 at the time of this video. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look here at the markets. Um, I'm looking at the spider. Now, a couple things here. I'm using trading view. Trading view. I used to use eSignal as a chart pattern or chart software. I now use Trading View because it gives me everything eSignal did. eSignal cost me about oh, it was two twenty five a month, and uh, you need good charting. Okay, you need good feed. So you need a chart that will save all your trend lines, will save all your indicators and oscillators, and you need a chart that will. <clears throat> that's easy and intuitive to use. Easy and intuitive to use. And uh, at the same time, find one at a good price. <clears throat> uh, charting platforms can be very expensive. The prices are coming down. The best I, we have found here is trading view. And they don't pay us to say this, okay? <laughs> we have an affiliate link with them, that's it. But, so anyway. Um, it's a good good software. It's, that's what we're using here. I, there's a link down in the description. Okay. Um, I like that I can grab my chart and move it around like this. I can just click and drag. And then I down here, I can pull it and scrunch it. You know, so let's say I wanted to hone in on this area. I could open it way up here. Watch this. And then do that and we can get crystal clear candlesticks so you can see here this was dropping 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 put a buy here we go up and then it started to pull back put a sell but then it goes into a bull pennant do you see this we have this up leg we have this bull pennant and it pops of course you buy that it goes into a high base and then it rallies up. And these are my buy and sell signals that I put on, on my own personal chart. Don't follow them if you don't want to. They're, and I'm saying do not trade by them, all right? There's my disclaimer. These are just on my personal chart on when I see buy opportunities or sell opportunities or not buy or sell opportunities, when I see the market poised to go higher or when I see the market poised to go lower. So they're not always right, okay? Especially in consolidations, uh, but it, if I hit this little button down there, boom, I it goes back to the beginning. And if I click on the side here and click on the bottom, when I it just centers it all up for me yet again, which is very very nice. Uh, I just yeah, so a, a lot of you guys ask about charting, and there's there's the chart thing. But this is the Spider Five Hundred. Let me tell you what I like, and I'll tell you what I don't like on this chart. What I like is we were going up, 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 and all the times that I thought we were going to start breaking down, the market just got stronger, and we just kept plowing higher and higher. What I don't like, what I don't like is that we're in this tight little rising wedge. Do you see this? It's, oh, let me zoom back in here. Ignore this lower red line, okay? Just look at these two red lines. It's a rising wedge, a rising wedgie. And the other thing I don't like is this little line coming across here, the 293.6, do you see that coming across? That originated from the last major record high here. Um, well, I don't know if it's a record, hold on, let me look. Yeah, it could have been, yeah, 
yeah, a record high for sure. It was a record high. It was a record high back in September. That is precisely where we're at now. The last time we hit that high, we crashed and burned. Do you see that? We got right here. We crashed and burned. And, and then this thing rallied up. Boom, up, 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 up. We're right there again. So overall, the markets look strong. It's strong, 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 right? Um, but we run a rising wedge at a major resistance. That's the bottom line. And if I go over to the weekly chart, open this up, 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 put a sell on it. It was short lived. I thought we were going to get a nice sell off there and it continued up. We're really pretty extended. And I have a sneaky suspicion that going into this next week is going to be flat or a little bullish because um, I see on the weekly, we could get right up here. Do you see this? Boom. And there are two major resistance lines. I could see that being resistance and then pulling back. That's what I'm watching for. So you heard it there. <clears throat> Rewatch what I just said because that was um, very important. If I if I go back down here to the diamonds, this is the Dow 30. We have another rising wedge, and this one broke down a little bit. I still have a buy on it. We're above the 20-day moving average. That's that blue line, but the mar the volume is just drying up on this. <clears throat> I think it again. I could see this on the weekly chart going bullish this next week a bit or maybe just sideways but overall we're looking pretty toppy so if i go over here and look at the weekly chart okay the weekly chart on the diamonds look again we're near a resistance area that resistance area we when we touched it back in january 2018 we dropped we came up, touched it again, September 2018, we dropped. We're right there at it again. Do you see that? And we're really extended. That would be a very logical place to see a pullback. See a pullback. If I go to the Qs, let's go to the daily first. The Qs has this big rising wedge. Problem city. Big, big rising wedge. And... And all the MACD oscillators are showing uh, bearish divergences also. We have a buy on it. And again, I still think it could keep crawling higher. But this lower trend line is very important to me. If we start breaking, if we start breaking those lower trend lines, all bets are off on the bull side. Um, look for a pullback to commence. That's what I'm looking for. I go to the weekly. This thing has been on a tear straight up. What's nice here, though, what I really like on the weekly. Whoops, let me use. I'm going to use this one. This horizontal ray goes straight across. Then I'll go to a line chart. I'll find that high right there. Then I zoom in. I zoom in, and I make sure that line is perfect on it. Double click that. That's where we're at. And then I go back to the candlestick. So I feel really good about this. So the last two weeks, we busted through those resistance levels on the NASDAQ making all-time highs, which is just very strong <laughs> for the bulls. <laughs> really, really strong. <Yeah. clears throat> few days, the month will end on all these. The m April's coming to an end. Um, this is the, oops, I want to go here to the daily. So this is the daily chart on the Russell's 2000. So this is small caps. This has just been chopping sideways for several months now. But we're at this high. This is a very important high. If we can break that, that would be bullish. However, it could be, act as resistance, which is ha it's act as, it acted as resistance back here in October 2018 and then drop couldn't touch it and it just fell out of bed we touched it again this this see this line coming across we touched it again right there and we dropped and we 
touched it a few days ago, we dropped and we're back at it. So this is an area that, well, I mean, arguably could get really, really bullish and uh, quickly. Oops, I'm gonna go with that. If we can stay above this trend line, I'll feel really pretty good about uh, about that. Might get rid of that line. That doesn't make sense to me anymore. So now I feel really good about this. It'd be, yeah, we'll see how the small caps will play themselves out. If I go over here to the uh, weekly, the weekly had a sell, a buy, and we're trying to stay above this trend line. It's very important. It, it looks like it's below the trend line here. It's not. If you go to a line chart, it's perfect. See that? It's perfect, perfect, perfect. You got to learn to draw your trend lines spot on. There's a, a method to that. Matter of fact, Mark is teaching a mentorship this weekend. And there's people from all over who are learning the skills on how to draw trend lines properly. It is a science. It is not an art. So, I mean, this thing looks like it's staying above this trend line. As long as it does that, that would be great. This, again, is a weekly chart. If I look here at the financials, the financials, um, oops, I don't want to go to the weekly. Uh, let's just look at the weekly. Very strong. See this trend line? We broke it. We have a buy on it, but 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 boom, we break it right there. Very strong on the financials, guys, on the weekly chart. Really, really strong. Let's look at the daily and see what it does. The daily financials, up, 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 we're at a major resistance. Looks like we can go bullish a little bit, hit resistance, and drop. That'd be interesting. Let's see what happens. This week is critically important. If we end the week really bullish, I just expect the markets just to keep roaring upward. However, if we are under stress this next week, if we're under stress and it goes flat and it starts to drop and we're seeing volume increase, let that be a warning sign to you because that warning sign <laughs> could, could mean something. Could mean something. Uh, U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar. Oh, I'm going to put a sell on that one. So you're seeing me do this in real time and, and only pay it. If you want to, if you're highly skeptical on my um, arrows, that's fine. I would be too. Only pay attention to the ones that you see me put on the charts, okay? Ignore the rest of them. Ignore the rest of them. Crude oil daily. Ho, ho, ho. Big drop. Major trend line. Broken on massive volume massive volume so look awesome awesome at a, a dark cloud cover there a reversal pattern after a pop put a sell on it next day it dropped and then a big sell off wow yeah so i want to look at the weekly on this one the weekly gets a sell too Boom. Okay, so this is a nice bear pullback. One thing that I'd like to look at here is a look at some measurements. Okay, for you Gronk graduates out there, the mentees, the 301 students, pay special attention to what I just did right there. Wow. <clears throat> Wow, go to your workbooks on the retracement principles. Okay, uh, so let's go back. Let's look at silver and gold, silver and gold. I got a buy on it and it popped its head up over a falling wedge. You see that? And it's at the bottom of this triangle going to bounce. If you go to the weekly, down man and it's hammer time look at this it hammered out hammered out it's got a now i put a buy on it silver long term or oh on the weekly is a buy i think it's a buy on the um short term too so you gold bugs out there you're you silver people you're gold and silver i'm telling you this looks like a good opportunity to be looking to buy but i'm um, education only 
I cannot give you buy or sell recommendations. <laughs> I'm an educator. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's look at gold. Gold weekly. I'm going to put a buy on that one, too. Gold weekly is a buy. Let's see what the daily is. I already had a buy on that one, so it's going up. However, we're still in a downtrend. That's a bear pullback. I'm not liking that as much as I'm liking the silver. So it has some resistances to contend with. So I got to buy on it, but it, it could be a sell. It could be a sell. And that's on a daily. A VIX fear, I'm going to put a sell on it. Had a buy on it. Now it's got a sell. Be there's just no fear in the market, guys. I mean, we're below 13. Are you kidding me? Below 13? There's no sell. There's just no, no, no fear in the marketplace. Bitcoin, and uh, um, I had a buy on it back here, a sell on it, and then it did go up. So uh, I'm staying with my sell for the time being. I'm looking for another entry opportunity because I was holding it and I sold it, and now I'm waiting for a new opportunity to get back in. I'm growing my Bitcoin collection, which I like, I like, I like. Uh, <clears throat> man, I see an alert that just popped up on my machine saying, do the Stock Picks V newsletter for Mark. So um, a lot of you guys don't know what that is. Mark's mentoring this weekend, uh, so to lighten his load, I'm doing the stock picks. Uh, you know what? Let me let me show it to you. Bear with me just a second. I have like 80 tabs open, so I'm stretching my tabs open. Is this it? It is. It is. It is. Okay. So uh, what we have here, if uh, we do stock picks, and the reason we did them, and I'll share this with you, the reason we did them was because uh, one of the biggest troubles that traders have today is being able to find the right stocks to trade and to hone in on them. And they spend all this time researching, and they just they have a hard time. We have something called the Stock Picks V Newsletter. V stands for video because there's a video that's base um anyway here are kind of like all the helpful tips on how to use it but um, what makes us special is we have a bull list and a bear list and what makes us extra extra special is we we quantify our bull list and bear list fundamentally speaking fundamental analysis that means the numbers of the business first and then we trade them technically, bullish or bearish. So we have both aces in our pocket, and it makes it very powerful. I have an indicator here. This is just a helpful little tool that will tell you on the spider what some basic analysis, collective, accumulative sentiment is, okay? They're saying it is a very strong buy right now based off of the indicators. All right, so 19 buys, two sells, that's a strong buy. And this will go back and forth. So if you don't know anything about TA or technical analysis and you have the hardest time in the world figuring it all out, that little guy will kind of tell you if you should be bearish or bullish, right? But you scroll down, and we have our high big movers for the week. And this is kind of our little special group. If if one of our stocks in one week, just in one week, pops more than 5%, one way or the other, uh, we just highlight it for you guys. We didn't have any on the bull side that popped more than 5% in one week. And believe me, most, if, you, if you can get 12 to 15% in your 401k in the year, people are okay with that. A stock moving more than 5% in a week is pretty good, and we usually have those on the bull. But this this week, we, or this last week, we did not. So the list I'm showing you is an old list. This is for April 22nd to April 26th. 
And here are the less, the bull less. These, this is everything in our bull less that are highly bullish, but that was from last week. And here's everything in our bear less that's very bearish, fundamentally, fundamentally. Here's what was added last week. Here's what was removed. And same thing here. We call this, you know, stocks that are booming. Boom and bam, they're going to the downside. <laughs> And then we do a video, <clears throat> like I said, um, this was this is an old one, so this is our Easter one last week, and we talk about the um, some bull setups, some bear setups that we're seeing on the technical side. Highlight. So that's what the that's what the Stock Picks V newsletter is all about. And Grok Trade above me, GrokTrade.com is where you can go and find more information on that. <clears throat> If I could ask your help on something, um, I made some changes, and under the page it says trading mentors. The, if you guys are grammar Nazis or um, or have um, copywriting skills or anything that you think might, or just have an opinion, that's what I'm after. Um, I wrote this out, and I spent a lot of time on this. Anyway, if you in the trading mentor thing, and it's a lot of copy in here, but man, I was just writing right from my heart. <clears throat> I was just putting it all in there on things that I felt like people need to know about our mentorship. So I put it all in. My, I guess my question is, when you go through it, if you could just tell me what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to see more of or less of. Um, if you see a grammar mistake, if you see a missing word, um, if you just, you know, whatever. And, and anybody, and send me an email. Um, you can put it in the comments below on YouTube, or you can send me an email at des, D E S D E S, at grocktrade.com. Um, yeah, anyway, it's, it, it, there's a lot of content here, but I tried to break it up. I tried to make the text big, and I tried to highlight things that were important. Um, you know, I I try to put pictures in. I try to do everything to make it comfortable to read through where a person would want to keep reading through. Because ideally, I want them to read it all because I'm, I'm not regurgitating. It's, I'm just giving you all the detail, right? There are a lot of videos in here. It'd be interesting to find out what videos that you feel like um, speak to you the best and which ones it's like, oh, I just didn't do much for me or whatever. I don't know. I'm just looking for feedback, I, uh, I guess, if you're willing to give that. Because I get a lot of people watching the videos. Why not ask for you know social feedback? <laughs> so that's it. That's it. If you could help me out with that, that's just go to Grok Trade and then click on Trading Mentor. And... Um, uh, yeah, that would be of help to me. That is it. You guys rock. Thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. Looking forward to doing this. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a video soon on um, cannabis stocks. Uh, these stocks have made a lot of people a lot of money. And I just met with somebody who's made a lot, a lot, a lot of money in in this. Uh, I'm going to do some te um, technical analysis on some cannabis stocks. So that's coming. And if that's something of interest to you, please let me know down in the comments. That is like, yo, that's a go. That's a go. So anyway, I hope that does it. I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Catch you guys later. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs>